I live in a holographic universe on multi-dimensional timelines unrehearsed, merely shifting in and out of dimensions unbound, where in this silence thought is the only sound. I can transmutate into anything my soul desires, for this is how this frequency is wired. Maybe a tune from a melody just visualized, for I am consciousness, therefore I materialize. I harness the power to create my reality, for I tapped into my knowing at the age of 14. I'd leave this body through my crown chakra as I lay there vibrating at the highest octave. And for many years, I journeyed beyond my flesh while my body instinctively took its breath. And the very first place I'd been taken to was to the Hall of Records for my life review. The Akashic Records is what it's called, or to some that cross over, it's called the Great Hall. There I'd learn of every counted word I spoke and all I ever did, said, and every promise I broke. I saw myself in my mother's tiny womb as a water being waiting to bloom. I saw my childhood and my teen life. I saw the joy I created and I also saw the strife. I saw drama, I saw pain, I saw slander and lies. And then I saw love and kindness and truth in my own eyes. The elders, though, they wanted me to see my life through a ripple effect. How we all truly are one and how all things connect. So they took me to a time when I hopped on a New York bus for fun and rode down Fifth Avenue till a young girl had jumped on. And as she sat there, I spoke ugly words of scorn. They showed me the pain I had worn. She got off, and as she did, they placed me in her emotional state. My words coursed through her soul as words of hate. She carried them to her babysitting job, and there the baby all day would sob. Then I was put in his body to feel, and for this child the neglect was all too real. When the parents came home, I hopped in their space. And from their eyes, they blamed the young lady for the tears on his face. Their evening was spent suffering his pain. And as I stood watching, I was to blame. This news, this review, it pierced my soul. So when I returned, I took on my newest role. I humbled myself to the idea of my truth, and as I did, I was set aloose. I became a mantra walking as a living word, shepherding in God's to listen to truths unheard. I knew my life's purpose and mission, and I knew all I spoke would come to fruition. This dreamed reality has no bearing on me because as now the invisible I clearly see that I am you and you are me and we are God's supposed to be this holographic world is an imposed idea of all the things created as love and fear that truth is projected by our living breath and life is the waxing and waning of death my existence lies beyond a mind perceived and untruths of a holographic universe believed. So I missed the eternal loving plan. Our existence is none other than the great I am. The great I am.